What's the deal, y'all? We are back with another reaction. We got Young Dro on the Breakfast Club, and it got heated real quick with the guy in the background, the guy with the black hat on. Him and Young Dro exchanged words, and Young Dro was up there talking about his sobriety and how he's gotten his life back on track, how he overdosed, you know, how he overcame things, his daughter being on drugs as well, how she overcame it. So this was a serious moment, and this guy laughed at him. Let me know what y'all thoughts is in the comments. Also, too, like, comment, subscribe, show me some love. I appreciate everybody that's coming to the page, all the new people, the returning people. Y'all are much appreciated. On that note, let's get right into it. Like I said, like, comment, subscribe, too. Let's get right into the disrespect. <laughs> I think it's good in all people. You feel what I'm saying? And, if, if, if... and this is the context leading up to the moment. I don't want to just throw you right in the moment. This is the conversation leading up to it. If nobody can find the good in you or see the good in you, I think you should give them a hug and tell them life is difficult for the mm -hmm. blind, you know? That's real. He had, he, he had the DD. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He had the DD. When, when, did, when did you decide or what got you into rehab? When was that, that <clears> calling <throat> and said, this is the time? Because, I mean, for my whole career, I, I would see Dro in the club with me every <laughs> week, and Dro was performing. Dro is at every stage. You were, you were the epitome of an artist because you were out. Yeah. Um, well, I got tired, like, of the same things, like, you know what I mean? Like, over and over again, get high and saying I'm not getting high and, you know, repeating, repeating, repeating the same. Man, laughing, man. Lying. Can't do it. 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 Overcoming the real struggle. That man back in there. <laughs> I will ask you, because your crew just doesn't do nothing but laugh. Like, even as now, T.I.'s like, welcome to Sober Drill. Like, nobody takes it serious. It's, it, but you know. And in a moment, that's something they probably maybe laugh at behind the scenes, but we're in the public eye now. It's not funny. Because this is real. Like, people die from this. This is a real thing. Like, people really struggle with this. So, to us, it's not funny. We look at it as, like, that's really your friend. Like, that's somebody you, y'all got around that's laughing at people being sober. Like, what's funny about getting my life together? So, that's why, to the outside looking in, we don't find this funny. But for them, this is what I say is, sometimes we got to mind our business because now we can hate this guy, hate this guy, hate this guy, and then he can apologize. They can apologize and make up, and now we look crazy. But it just so happened this aired out in the public, so we all got an opinion. What you say? A bad pill got him. He let it all go after that bad pill. Bad pill got him. He's telling the truth. Like, um, <laughs> bad pill got him. He's telling the truth. 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 He's telling like this is this is what we say was we don't take things serious in in our community. We always laugh at shit, and I know the thing is laugh at my pain or or let's laugh at our pain. But sometimes people don't want to be laughed at, especially when I'm trying to be open and and this is why a lot of people aren't vulnerable and don't express themselves because they get laughed at when they do. Like I'm up here telling millions of people about how I overcame addiction, and you laughing at me. Like, that's the part right there where it's like, come on, man. man, 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 man. That's your brother, right? That's your brother. Crazy, man. He's, He's a mechanic. K-Dub. He's a mechanic. Mechanics always laugh at K-Dub is a dastardly <laughs> individual, man. So, guys, nah, so you're, you're so, What did T.I. just say? A dastardly individual. <laughs> like, we got to love T.I., man. Almost overdose. Yo, I did. No, you know what yeah. I mean, and, and um, so he did overdose. All of, all of these things happened. The overdose. Um, my daughter was on drugs, and you know, career wise, I wasn't where I wasn't where I wanted man, to be. What is this? What's up with your man, man? Hey, you finna get slapped? Man. <laughs> I mean, we. Yeah, like yo, what's up, homie? Run me that. You gotta you gotta run me that feed, my boy. Cause at that point, I'm talking about my daughter. Like, come on, man. I'm trying to be serious. And you laughing like, it was one thing you was laughing at me, but now I'm talking about my daughter. Come on, bro. Like, we got to draw the line somewhere. And 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 he's not wrong for saying I will slap you. Like, honestly, like, we shouldn't condone black on black violence, but at that point, it's like, you took it too far. Like, 
I know they say like, oh, don't respond to certain things or whatever. It's not worth the energy and the time. But at some point, you have to stick up for yourself. And this is where one of the moments where he has to stick up for himself. I don't give a fuck. Like, slap that nigga and deal with him on the back end. You're not about to talk about my daughter, my boy. Like, somewhere we got to draw the line. Hey, cool, but I slapped the shit out of no, you by hey, laughing. Oh, oh, man. I'm just, I'm just telling you. Hey, you cool. ain't going to slap me now. now. What you want to do? Hey, you ain't going to slap me now. Hey, what you want to do? Hey, you going to hey. hurt yourself? Yeah. Don't, don't let him take you out of your right. sober drug. And you hear, you hear the other guy, don't let him take you out of character. And you always need that voice of reason. You always need that voice of reason because you don't want to to lash out either. I know I said sometimes you got to stand on business, but you also need that voice of reason too because it's the reason why they jumped up and said don't do it. You never know. They might be saving you from something. Bro, but you, come on, man. No, you don't mean bank here, though. Like, hey, listen. Hey, man, you, you, you hey, listen. hey, both of y'all. All y'all. Everybody came in. T.I. trying to regulate. Hey, look. Everybody came in the motherfucker with me. Hey, look, everybody came in the motherfucker with me. Hey, look, remember who you came in. Remember what we doing here, man. Come on. Who man. the Kang is? Get this shit together, bro. All right? All right. I'm sorry, guys. And first of all, Joe. <laughs> Young Joe said, all right. Congratulations on being Absolutely. two years sober. Yeah, like man. I was saying. Three, actually. Three. three I'm yeah. approaching four. You feel what I'm saying? That, that, that I'm speaking more of the area than I am about the people, mm -hmm. you know? But after that, after they, they, they called me and I said, hell nah, man, you lying. So I come, I say, bro, man, man, what's up, bro? He like, man, nothing. I said, what you mean, nothing? Mm -hmm. Sum up, what's up? I said, man, I know you ain't, you know, I know you ain't gonna fuck around and off yourself. And he say, man, that, that shit didn't even happen. I, didn't, didn't, happen. I, didn't I feel, said it didn't happen. I didn't feel like, well, I didn't know what fitting all was. You feel what I'm saying? To be honest with you, like, like, like he said, and that's usually how it is a lot of times too, man. People don't know what that fit. You don't like it's all fake shit out here. They pressing shit up. They they giving out fake this. They putting fitting all in it because they want to make it how they cutting it. Like that's just what it is out here. That's why I, I know people are addicted to shit. But come on, man. Like this shit ain't worth it. Like all they say is it takes a little bit of a fetty to get you up out of here. Like I've seen it happen in in, in real life. What it, what it does to people. And they got to Narcan you and bring you back. Like, man, you don't want to go through that. The chase, the chase a high. It ain't that serious. It's really not. And I know people be stressing and they be going through shit and they feel like that's the answer. No. Physical fitness is the answer. Talking to somebody is the answer. Going down that route, that's not the answer. You're just going to drown in your own pain. Like, it was a crazy pill. Like, I didn't... I didn't... <clears throat> I, don't, I wouldn't have asked for, hey, look, you got fentanyl? You feel what I'm saying? I just. What drug was it? Was it perk? It was fentanyl. It was a perk. You it was know a perk. What I mean? So when, once, I, once I took it, I didn't believe it. You feel what I'm saying? So when it when that happened, I felt like I felt like now I'm obligated to tell my story mm -hmm. and so it can help somebody that's in, you know, that's. Yeah, tell my story and not be laughed at. Y'all let me know in the comments, man, who, what, like, was old boy wrong for that? fighting addiction you know mm. hey man i want to apologize to my friend i i got beside myself i, I shouldn't have took feelings to that all right so one or two ways with this that's a grown man shit right there that he apologized and he's like you know what I should have never got emotional like that. I probably could have handled it different because I know people are saying, man, fuck that. He should have stood on business. He he disrespected you. Don't, why you apologize? But he took the J. Cole route. He took the J. Cole route in the situation. And he said, look, I'm going to be the bigger man and apologize. I could have just talked to you about it. I could have waited until we got off air and handled it. But I handled it this way. My bad player. And some people might respect that route. Some people say, you know what? I love that. Y'all stood on business with each other. Shit got a little tense. T.I. calmed it down. And you said, you know what? I apologize, my good brother. I didn't mean nothing by it. Now, on the other side, people can say, why the fuck would you apologize when a nigga disrespected you on a live radio show? With millions of people watching across the country. And you gonna apologize to him. He laughed at you. Why are you apologizing? 
some people aren't going to see the other side. And I got to respect both because some people feel like no disrespect will be tolerated. Some people say, you know what? I'm going to handle it in a more cordial way, less combative, less confrontational way. Some people say, fuck that. All confrontation, all destruction. So it's really whatever side of the coin you land on. Me personally, I'm not not taking the J. Cole route. I can't take that route. J. Cole route was out. You got to go Kendrick. You got to go Kendrick route. All destruction, foot on neck. Nah, bro, we're we going to stand on that until you realize I'm not the one to play with. Because this is crazy. Let's just hear this one more time. Fighting addiction, you know. Mm. Hey, man, I want to apologize to my friend. I I got beside myself. I, I shouldn't have took feelings to that. That's you know what I'm saying? I didn't, I didn't That's my dude happened. right there, man. You that's know what I'm saying? saying? I ain't finna be slapping no goddamn battle. Hey man, it's all good. That's my dog. Hey man, listen. Hey man, we all we all here together. We came here together. We're gonna leave here together. We're gonna grow together. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, you know I just had to make that. So we're gonna have good times, we're gonna have bad times. Absolutely. You know, but one thing we ain't gonna have is no broke times. Hey, leave it to T.I. to end it off with some positive shit. But hey, at the end of the day, at least it was handled. At least it it, it stayed there. It didn't go past that. It could have went left. They, they could have got up and started throwing blows and made a viral moment and could have went a whole different way, but at least they handled it that way. They left it where it was and said, you know what? We're not even going to do that to each other. Fuck that. It's, it's over with. Let's just end it how it is. Let bygones be bygones. And at the end of the day, I, like I said, I might not agree with it, but hey, I can't be mad at the outcome. Two black men on the same page, not mad at that. It's better than no black men on the same page. So, at the end of the day, I fuck with it. But, yeah, I'm out. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. Hit all the links in the bios. Um, hit that bell button. Subscribe, subscribe. Run me up. I appreciate everybody watching. I'm going to keep dropping videos every day. That's my word. I'm giving my word. I'm going to try to drop a video every day. If it's not one... Maybe two to three, but I'm going to try to drop a video every day. I got y'all. I'm out.